as a Franco-British citizen and historian, you can explain uh, to an Anglophone uh, uh, audience what laïcité is all about. Well, I, that's a tall and why order. why it's important. That's a tall order. Um, you know, my lesson to this came more recently in an indirect way with one of our children, our middle child, our daughter, who studied at Sciences Po for a couple of years. She did a double degree at UCL and Sciences Po. And uh, I asked her on one occasion, early when she'd arrived, how, you know, how it was going, what the classes were like. And then I asked her about the composition of the classes. How many of the students are black? How many of the students are Muslim? How many of the students are this? How many of the students are that? She said, Dad, I can't tell you. I said, what do you mean you can't tell me? She said, because we're not allowed to know. We can't keep, the institution can't keep records on those kinds of things. Everyone is French. And that is a reflection of the desire to strip out in public life the sense of identifying a human being by reference to their group identity. In other words, treating everyone theoretically as being equally French, irrespective of their gender, their sexual orientation, their color, their religion, their any other of these things. It's a different approach to identity. So for me, laïcité is about identity, and it's about creating a, a sense of belonging and commonality, which is very different from the Anglo-Saxon approach. Does it work better or worse? That's really not my area. It's different, and one has to understand it, and one has to respect it, and not poo-poo it, as some of the British and French media commentators do.